Uh, and Firefly it is intending to be the glue that brings those things together. The messages can be either broadcast to the whole network, or they can be a directed message that is private to a certain number of members. Uh, when we bring those messages into Firefly, we build what's called a batch, uh, maybe one or more uh, messages and data blobs together. And then that batch is paired to a transaction on the blockchain. Uh, that data is actually going to be hashed and anonymized, and then the hash is stored on the blockchain of your choice uh, as a transaction object. The data itself is going to be stored either in a database, or if it's public data, it may be used uh, in IPFS, which is a peer-to-peer -peer file system. We have all these different operations that plug into the various tools, and I think we've said it many times, but the whole goal here is to be very pluggable and allow you to bring your own tools and integrate them together. Firefly tool belt. Uh, the first one is the Firefly CLI, which is something you can download. And we did some workshops on it earlier today uh, that you can view the recordings if you missed. The CLI is just a really easy way to start up a stack of all the things you need to build an enterprise application. The next piece in the tool belt is, is a web UI, and it shows you kind of a behind the scenes look at everything that's traveling uh, through the Firefly network. Another tool that's in here, uh, baked in, uh, we use OpenAPI for all of the API schemas. Uh, so you can even get a lower look at the API from each of these nodes. Run a quick demo just to show you how these pieces work together and what actually flows through the network. Uh, we have a very simple application here that is part of the Firefly samples repo. To show you the repo and I'll, I'll show you a little bit more behind the scenes in just a second. Uh, but this is public on uh, the Hyperledger Labs uh, org, and you can download this and try it out for yourself. This basically gives me the option to uh, view the Firefly network from the perspective of any of the members and to send either broadcast or private messages. So I'll start by sending a broadcast uh, from member one. And when I submit that, it's going to go in, it's going to get batched, it's going to get anonymized and hashed, it's going to get pinned to a blockchain. The data is going to be shared with the other members, and uh, it'll be visible on all of the org's nodes. So there it is. I see it came through on my own node, sent from self. If I view as any of the other members, it's visible. This hello everyone uh, is visible who it came from. It's visible to all members since it was a broadcast. Transaction is also going to be visible in the Firefly UI. The uh, messages, of course, I can see what were broadcast and what were private messages. So the actual data that was attached to that transaction. And where that becomes really powerful is if I want to switch this over to a private message and send, uh, say, from member two to member one here. Uh, and member zero is not going to be privy to this information. Member zero here is not going to be able to see it. I can see in uh, member two's logs that I sent a message here. The goal is to tie together that on-chain and off-chain messaging. Very clear who to have that privacy model as to who can see what data. I have the blockchain kind of backing it all up. 